Hi there, Miranda Alt here with Keller Williams Success Realty and the Miranda Alt team with your Monday market update for Monday, August 29th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching. A quick look at your McHenry County statistics for the last seven days. We had 152 new listings. We had 163 go under contract. We have 156 that closed this week, 66 price changes, 48 on the private network, and three expired. Now, as compared to this time last year, we had 185 new. Remember, this year we're at 152. We had 205 under contract this year 163 uh, closed sales were 182 this year 156 private was 65 this year 48 and still three expired listings both that last year and this year the only data i was not tracking last year was price changes which of course we know we are seeing more of those but again that's more because prices are recovering from that spike that we saw in march april and may so what's going on in the housing market overall well i just got back from mega agent camp in austin texas last week with keller williams where we had a huge powwow with some of the top agents from around the country and what everyone is seeing actually in all markets is that days on market is still very low so your house might be on the market, you know, you might see a house down the road or whatever, or your friend's house or your house or whatever, might be on the market for 14 days as opposed to two days that you had in April, May, and June. People are now thinking, oh, houses aren't selling at all. That is not true. Overall, days on market this year, this week, this year, this month are still way below where they were at in 2020. So, and regular markets prior to that. We also still have very low inventory. Again, as compared to 2020, we're not going to compare to 2021 because 2021 was a crazy year. We had record sales. We had record low days on market. We had all of those things. So it's, it's tough to compare this year to last year, but let's compare it to 2020 or even 2019, which would have been considered a more normal year. In 2020, we had four months inventory. We still have only three months inventory. So we are still very much in a seller's market, okay? Days on market are still low and the average home sale price is still much higher. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So prices are still up, even though they are coming down, they're still way higher than where they were this time last year and the year before that. So, so equity is still up for a lot of homeowners. You have more equity in your house now than you ever did before. Um, and we still have very, very low days on market and low inventory. So the market is still very much so on fire. We still anticipate selling um, about 5 million houses by the end of this year. Now, of course, that's nationwide, um, but we are still seeing uh, a good return on investment. So this is a great time to be buying. If you are an investor, it's, you know, prices are coming down. They're, they're recovering a little bit, but they are likely to go back up um, in the spring market of next year. Um, we do not see values decreasing. It's certainly not when inventory is low, right? Always the age old economic principle that is always going to dictate price is always going to be supply and demand. We still have low supply. We still have high demand. In Interest rates are creeping up. We are going to see them go up this week again. Um, they're in the sixes now, but they could go up from there. I would not be surprised at all if we saw them hit seven by the end of this month. Well, no, we're almost at the end of this month. If by the end of September we see them hit seven, we don't know. But they are definitely the mortgage-backed securities are trading lower today than they have um, in all last week. They were trading lower uh, than they were previous to that. So we are that does mean that they are lower in value, which means they have to raise the rates. So that's kind of where we're at overall. I'm going to be coming to you with some of the slides that I got uh, last week, is with some of the data on the overall state of the housing market. I know uh, some of the headlines that came out last week are uh, the housing crash. None of that is happening. Your home values are still safe. You've still got a lot of equity. In your home it's still a good time to sell so don't listen to the news remember the news is always going to be trying to invoke fear and panic because that's what makes you watch more news right so i'm going to put up some real data this week show you some of those graphs that i got at the keller williams mega camp this last week and you're going to understand a whole lot clearer as to what's going on in this real estate market and why it is actually still a great real estate market. I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Realty and the Miranda Alt team. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a call if you have any questions. I'm at 815-529-0777 or you can always email me at mirandaaltteam at gmail.com or hit me up on social media. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Bye-bye.